next Brooklyn District Attorney, Ken Thompson. Say this publicly. 
I love and will honor you all the days of my life. But I would also not be standing here if it were not for another strong woman in my life. looked past the tape on my glasses and saw my heart and who not only tells me to get up when I fall down she bends down and she helps me get up the songs I love you and I always will and to my kids Kennedy and Ken, who lost their father for this campaign, spent very little time with my children. Now we don't have to answer the question that kept coming up at home. What do we do if we lose? <laughs> I also want to thank some very important people in my life. And I want to start with Pastor A.R. Bernard. And the You've taught me many things. One of the things that you've taught me is that God doesn't put his promises in our hand. He puts them within our reach. And in order for us to realize those promises, we must stretch our faith to realize them. This work, this run for DA was an exercise of my faith, Pastor. And I thank you so much. And I love you. So So, must per publicly thank Congressman Hakeem Jeffries. <laughs> Congressman Jeffries, who is a superstar in the House of Representatives. And we were took a chance on a little guy like me, that I can win and defeat a 23-year term sitting DA. Congressman, I thank you for all of your, I thank you for your friendship all these years, and I will serve the people of Brooklyn with you in honor and distinction. I also want to thank the other members of Congress who endorsed me. That is Congressman Gerald Nadler. Congresswoman Yvette Clark and Congresswoman Lydia Velasquez. But I cannot, I cannot overlook my brother, Assemblyman Dove Heiko. Please come here. He has shown me kindness and friendship from the day we met. He invited me into his home and stood with me on a beautiful sunny day in Borough Park and told the world that he was endorsing me for Brooklyn D-Day. I will never forget that. I also must thank 1199, a powerful union. I want to personally thank George Gresham. I want to thank all the members of 1199, Kevin Finnegan, the political director, but I also want to thank the Working Families Party. We all came together to make this happen. I am indebted. But there's somebody else on the stage that has to be given credit for this night, and that is Abe George. George put the 
people of Brooklyn over his own personal and political interest. His character made this night happen. I stand next to one of the finest lawyers I've ever known. My friend and my brother, my partner, Doug Wigdor. <laughs> Doug Wigdor, today, kept telling me, we met about 5.30 this morning, he kept saying, smile, Ken. <laughs> I, I rarely smiled. And he kept saying, smile, Ken, we're gonna win. And I said, how are we gonna win, Doug? And he kept saying, smile, Ken, we're gonna win. Doug, your friendship, Thank you. A man couldn't have a better role partner than you. Now, there is someone standing in the back who doesn't want any attention. His name is Neil Quattro. And Neil Quattro was the quarterback of this campaign. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Neil, friends for life. Now, every one of you, I just have to say thank you. So many of you helped me stand at subway stops, hand out literature, contribute, and I just want to thank you. And you're far too many to, to, for me to specifically thank, but I want to thank one person who helped me early on and that is Miss Chen, who we call the mayor of Fulton Street. <laughs> Miss Jenny, Miss Jenny. Miss Jenny, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. When other people said that we couldn't win, you kept telling me and encouraging me and telling me we could win, and I'll never forget that. Now, this is also important. About 10 minutes ago, I had a a conversation with District Attorney Joe Hines. Wow. And I want to publicly thank District Attorney Joe Hines for no, 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 no. We will not boo him because we have to honor his 23 years of service to the people of Brooklyn. And what I told him is that it will be truly an honor to follow him as the next Brooklyn District Attorney. And so tonight, we've made history in so many ways. And each and every one of you helped us make history. So all I can say is thank you, and what I intend to do, I intend to serve each and every one of you with honor and distinction. I owe it to my mother, I owe it to my wife, I owe it to my children, and I owe it to the people of Brooklyn. God bless you all, and have a good night.